in last week's parasha, parashat mishpatim, <coughs> the Torah says, "Im Adonav iten lo isha ve'yaldal lo banim u'banot." If his master will give him a, a, a wife, and she will give will give birth to him sons or daughters. The Zohar explains the pasuk a little different. The Zohar says, "Im Adonai iten lo isha." If his master will give him a wife. Adonav, his master, Hainu Akadosh Baruch Hu, refers to Akadosh Baruch Hu, because he is Adon Akol, right? Adon Aselich, right? So that's, that's Akadosh Baruch Hu. And the Zohar learned this from the Pasuk, that a person must pray for Akadosh Baruch Hu to sing him his Zivug Matim Verauilo, his proper match in which is appropriate to him. And then it will be im Adonav iten lo isha if his master will give him a wife. Kasher matzah zivug sheno adlo min hashamayim. When you find your appropriate zivug, your appropriate match, which was sent to you from shamayim, only then ve'yaldalo banim u'banot. Only then she will give birth to sons and, and daughters. Ve'yeladeh atiye le'adonah. And the children will be for her master. Listen again. And the children will be for her master. In other words, then the children would be holy and dedicated to Akadosh Baruch Hu, to God. But, so therefore, if you're asking for Akadosh Baruch Hu to send you, he said, Rebbe Shalom, you sent me. My zivug. I want my proper wife, the one that you intended to me. You need to ask him. If you do so, and she comes, and you marry her, then your children is almost a guarantee, unless you spoiled it, that your children will be dedicated to Akadosh Baruch Hu. But he who goes after his eyes. Rabbi, I'm not attracted to her. Rabbi, why can I do There's no spark. You know, I don't feel anything physical. I'm not attracted. This is a bunch of baloney. He who goes after his eyes and chooses his zivug, his mate, kefir etzono, according to his will and his desires, without putting a prayer first, he might have in his destiny set for him zivuk sheino shelo, a mate that is not his. Ve'az, and then he would not complete the purpose in which he came to this world. According to the Kabbalah, your punishment would become to come in a gilgul, into reincarnating, to come here. So your reincarnation is because you did not marry the right one. Why? Because you failed to pray. And there is no greater punishment than to come here in, in, in reincarnation again. Why? Because you didn't finish the purpose in which you came here. And I'll tell you that. Your purpose might be just to help one Jew. It needs to be complete. Shalem. Therefore... It says in Tehillim, Lamed Bet 32, Al zot it palei kol chasid elecha le'et metzo. Therefore, any righteous person, any pious person would pray for you to the time for a specific time. What is a specific time? Le'et metzo. And Chazal says in Masechet Brachot, in Davchet Amud Aleph, Le'et metzo, zo isha. That's a wife. Le'et metzo means a wife. Why? She'neemar, matza isha, matza tov. He find a wife, he find good. Ve'en tov ela Torah. Ve'en tov ela Torah. So therefore you're marrying your wife not to play snooker or billiard with her or to play pool with her or to hang around now. You, you marry a wife that she would encourage you and she will push you to learn. The whole purpose that you marry a woman that you can learn. Why? 
Because you need to educate your children. You need to make sure that they stay dedicated to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. How are you going to do it if you don't learn? So therefore, a person needs to beg and ask mercy from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That he should find and he should receive. So many times you find your other mate, but you don't will, you're not willing to receive, to accept her. Why? Because you are not completely putting your faith in the hand of Hashem. She's a nice girl. Yeah, she's good midot. However, I don't know, she's a little on the uh, heavy side, so what? So what? I'm not so attracted to her. You looked in the mirror lately. Is it about attraction? That's what I call fatal attraction. It will kill you. And your children will not. Why? Because it's not the matching. Look, if we have those two pieces that they need to come, that we need to assort them from the pile of pieces that we have, and they need to come in into a complete synchronicity. They completely become one piece. If they don't match, it's going to be disharmonious. Therefore, your children will be disharmonious as well. Your whole life will be. Why? Because you did not attend to Akadosh Baruch Hu completely. You were not willing to put your faith in His hand. You are not a believer. HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent you something, sent you someone. Thank you. Thank you. At least you know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a zivuk for you. He think you are appropriate to, to, to have a family. How many times do guys come to me and they rejected this one and rejected the other one and rejected this and rejected this and years go by and all of a sudden they're 36 years old and they're still looking for someone. Ah, she's not good enough. I didn't feel any spark. You want to feel spark? Get your finger away, put it in the socket, you get sparks. Sparks you don't get. You need to feel complete. You need to feel harmonious. The main reasons why we can reason that we can do that is because we ourselves internally are not harmonized. We're not whole. So therefore we don't appreciate nor seek this harmony. If you are seeking this harmony within yourself, but not for a selfish reason, for yourself only, that you'll be able to serve Hashem better. That you'll be able to do your purpose in the world, and your purpose in the world is to serve others. It's not a selfish way of life. In this life, you came here to give to others. And each and every one of us has something to give to others. A unique gift that each and every one of us has, and only he has. But when you don't have it, this harmony inside of you, when you are selfish, that you want to give it all to yourself, you don't want to share it, there is no room for God in this world. And then you're unhappy. So don't go after your desires. Understand that the fate of your children and the fate of your life is dependent on your willingness to let God into your life. Therefore, a person needs to beg, to ask for mercy, that he would find and accept his chilek, his share, his missing piece, his appropriate zivug, and he, they should bear children, they will be appropriate to serve God. Amen. Amen.